continuing with our first Microsoft project exercise in the previous lesson we saw how to create simple tasks now I will take a moment to fill the rest of the tasks that I have lined up for this plan now our plan has uh, 10 tasks all together you can get all of these uh, docs from the exercise files and uh, recreate this exercise one simple thing to notice is that Microsoft project highlights the changes made in the last step with this light blue color that you can see here it is uh, nothing but a visual indication to you this highlighting can be incredibly useful when you move on to complex projects that can be multiple screens are long and wide and changes in one part of the screen can affect various areas in your project so this is a good thing to notice right from the beginning and keep an eye upon okay before we proceed any further i want to save this file and to do that i will first click on this file menu now when you click on the file menu you are led into an entirely different area of microsoft project for the very first time users this can be a little disorienting because suddenly you are looking at a new user interface Microsoft calls this area as the backstage and this area is where you can do all the file management tasks in one location in this interface the tabs are arranged on the left hand side of the screen here this backstage area is consistent in all Microsoft Office products and once you get a little used to it you'll find it intuitive and convenient for now I will click on the save as button and give this file a name and location on my computer we will be looking at the backstage in much more detail over several future lessons let me now just give it a name to return back to your work you will need to click on this return arrow at the top here now coming back to our project so far we have just added the tasks we have not yet tapped into the magic of Microsoft project and we will see the first taste of that when we create a schedule out of this task list to do that first select all the tasks by getting the mouse over to the corner here and selecting all the tasks together then in the ribbon menu make sure the task tab is active in this tab you will find the schedule section here and what we will use is this little button here with a chain icon its name is link the selected tasks and we will do precisely that when you click on this button voila all the tasks have been automatically converted into a schedule you can see that in the chart area here a Gantt chart has been created which reflects our schedule now all the tasks have been linked together what that means is that any further editing to any of these tasks like changing the duration or start or end date or adding new tasks and project will automatically keep the overall schedule in shape automatically let me show a simple example by just changing the duration of the first task to five days and keep an eye here when I click enter and instantly you can see that project will recalculate everything else for your entire schedule at the very high level what you have seen now is the basic premise of using Microsoft project this is a very simple example and I will not be showing anything more complicated that real life projects will have in this example we will move on to increasingly interesting examples step by step but before we do that in the next section we will first go over some very fundamental concepts used in Microsoft project this will introduce you to terminology and concepts used by project and it will be very beneficial to new starters and veterans also to establish a common platform used in the rest of this course so let's get going 